Is it raining? Finally. All right. Let's go get the XPS 13. What? Why? Well, we're going to soak it. Why? Did you already soak that one? No, that's my XPS 12. This is the this is their newer laptop. Is it waterproof? Uh, no. Oh. It rained last night. So this is the state of it. This water is actually dripping out from inside the notebook. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. So we're going to find out if the XPS 13 can survive being out in the rain, just like its predecessor, which also isn't waterproof. So it sat here for about a week. The thing I don't know yet, because the thing that's most like, look at that. What? That's right where I left it. <laughs> what? Oh my God. I'm not all. supposed to do stupid things. Minus, what is yeah, wrong that was with an you? accident the first time. <laughs> And this time, it's also an accident. Corsair's H80i GT and H100i GTX all-in-one liquid coolers improve both the appearance and cooling of your PC. Click my shoulder to learn more. We're going to mix things up a bit. Now, technically, the XPS 13, which I've been carrying around in my backpack, with my XPS 12, which survived being left out in the rain overnight. You can check out that video here. Now, I've been carrying this around in my backpack because I've been waiting all this time for an opportunity to find out if the XPS 13 could also survive a similar encounter with the elements. So the first thing I'm going to do is fire this bad boy up. Gorgeous laptop, by the way. You guys can check out my review of it here. Um, so I'm going to fire it up to show you guys that it is indeed still working perfectly. And even though this is something that I did promise to return to Dell, I never said that it wouldn't have been rained on in the meantime. So, uh, you know, I figure we might as well uh, put it through its paces and uh, see how this baby does. Now, I'm not going to have it turned on in the rain because that would probably kill it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow it to go into sleep. That's exactly the state that the other laptop was in when it was left out by accident before. So if it's in sleep, so, so we know this because once we got it fired up, it actually worked and resumed exactly where it was. So my battery life is sitting at about 62% and we are going to go ahead and do that Windows 8 swipey doop de doop sleep thing. Sleeps extremely quickly. We're going to take it outside, and in order to make this as similar to last time as possible, it is sleeping. We are going to leave it on this railing. No, I think it was on this table. On this table right here. So I wish the XPS 13 the best. Today we find out if the XPS 12 survival was a total fluke, or if Dell computers are made of magic. I suspect it was a fluke, but <laughs> only one way to find out. Oh. Is it the stupidest thing I've ever done? Yes. Really? No. Did, did you tell Dell that you're going to be doing this? No. <laughs> oh my god. This is like, I can't even look away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they won't be able to look away either. Yep. I suspect they won't be too impressed with this particular idea of mine. But hey, they were all over promoting the last one on social media. Hey, look how great this video is. So surely if you know... Yeah, but that one was an accident. That one was an accident. Maybe you were an accident. All right, well, let's just leave this here. We got to go. So I actually meant to rescue this thing right in the morning, but uh, I was actually out of the office all day. So it's been out there for 24 hours, which actually... Um, I don't know, it might be an advantage because it kind of dried out out here. So let's go ahead and bring this baby inside and have a... Okay, well, it didn't completely dry out. The bad news for the XPS 13 is that with the 12, I was able to, you know, open it up and start drying it out right away. But I actually have an engagement tonight and uh, I am not going to have time to do that right now. So tomorrow, not in the morning, but after I go to NCIX to film there, I will come back and uh, take this baby apart. I'm going to leave it here for now, though. We'll put it like that. This is still a bad idea. 
Oh, I never thought it was a good idea. So it's been a couple days since I've even touched this thing. It's just been sitting there kind of sogging in the meantime, but uh, I've just been busy. So this is not what I would normally recommend. If something gets wet, you want to crack it open and start airing it out right away. Here we go. All right. Looking not too bad inside, actually. Ooh, there's some uh, noticeable discoloration of that screw. Bottom panel, flap. Oh boy. It's also a good idea to take pictures as you go. Okay, battery's out. Some definite water seepage down to the housing for it. So if I pick at this right here, you can see Very bad news. Oh boy. Yeah, I was a lot more confident that this was a good, well, I, was, I never thought it was a good idea, but I was a lot more confident that it was less of a terrible idea when I started. Really tiny stuff in here. That is about as disassembled as I think we're gonna get her on this side. Let's have a look at that display that I really wish I had done first. All right, so the iFixit teardown actually has a pretty good look at the adhesive that Dell is using for their infinity display glass here. Without better tools on hand, we may just be SOL. All right, I'm defeated for now, so I'm gonna reach out to our friends at iFixit. Uh, looks like we need some eye openers, some kind of prying picks of some sort. And I'm just going to tuck this baby away. I mean, it's other than the display, everything else is opened up and airing out right now. Boy, I sure hope I can put this thing back together and uh, go get to it later. All right, so today's moment of truth time. Let's uh, take this baby out of the airflow later and find out if she works. Oh. <coughs> I'm breaking the fan that I'm trying to use to heal the laptop that I probably broke. So I fix it clarified a very important distinction between their teardowns and their repair guides for me. Um, I was following an XPS 13 teardown, which is not necessarily designed to allow you to put all those different things back together. So they actually informed me that they don't necessarily have a clear-cut procedure for putting this display, uh, the display elements back together if I take them apart, which means um, I'm going to kind of go for gold here and hope that the rain did not penetrate this seam. Why would I not label these? <laughs> oh no, this is not going to be a good day. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it does come down this way. Okay, maybe I could actually look at some of the pictures that I took. Oh, I get so like sweaty when I work on stuff like this. Well, oh, you know what? I'll put the speakers back first. Mind you, at this point, we are ready to find out if there's even a point in putting the speakers uh, and screwing the speakers back in because we are about to find out if this bad boy works. This is it. Moment of truth time. We have a light. We have a keyboard backlight. <laughs> no way. Wow. Oh, okay. Picks up right where it left off. We have done it again, folks. Whether by luck or by skill, or by the marvelous engineering of the products that we, uh, that we decide to do this to, uh, we have resurrected another wet laptop. Let's just make sure uh, the screen, screen works, touch screen works. Um, let's go ahead and just like find something we can like, yeah, multi-touch still works. Uh, we'll do a quick keyboard test, uh, make sure that still works. Touchpad, touchpad still works. 
This is a test. Whoops, a test. I think we're good to go. Wow, I can't believe this thing is functioning. Holy cow. Well, you guys, uh, you guys saw it here first. The XPS 13 is officially waterproof. It's not waterproof. Uh, thank you, thank you for, uh, <laughs> I'm at a bit of a loss. I'm, I'm really surprised. Thank you for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment at the link in the video description to our forum if you want to discuss this video or, you know, chat with us about the results or whatever else the case may be. Also linked in the video description, you can buy a cool t-shirt like this one. You can uh, give us a monthly contribution if you like what we do. If you think that watering laptops to make them grow is the best strategy in the world or whatever else and you want to support that then go ahead and do that also you could just change your amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate codes whenever you buy a new laptop or whatever else the case may be we get a small kickback that kind of thing helps us out a lot thanks again for watching don't forget to check out our other channels channel super fun and tech quickie if you love our content and as always don't forget to subscribe to this one if you haven't already